Today we want to answer the question how we can convert a DC voltage back into an AC voltage. As usual, you can go to my homepage and try it out yourself on the simulator. Here you have the DC voltage source and here you have a load, it could be a motor or anything else which needs an AC current. The inverter consists mainly of four power electronic modules, these are four switches. In order to get a positive half cycle at the load, we switch these two power electronic modules simultaneously so that the current flows uh, through the load in the positive direction. The other two power electronic modules are switched off. So these two power electronic modules, they should never be switched on at the same time, otherwise you will get immediately a short circuit. For the negative half cycle, you then switch on the other two power electronic modules, whereas those which were switched on before are now switched off. So this is how you can then get an AC voltage. Since you do not want to make the switching of the power electronic modules by hand, you add a little controller which does the switching for you uh, much faster than what you could ever do by hand. So that is what the control is then doing. So here you have the controller. The output of the controllers are connected to the power electronic modules, to the switches and uh, the leading signal is this sinus signal generator and you can see the sinus curve here. So from this signal generator at the end of the day you get a rectangular voltage at the load and a slightly disturbed, disturbed, distorted current through the load. In reality the rectangular wave shape is too rough. It would create a lot of losses and uh, it would be uh, very noisy. Therefore, in order to get a nice sinusoidal output as, as here, we would like to, we would basically add a sinus signal generator and a triangular signal generator and the difference between these two signal, signals is then a pulse code uh, generator. And then at the output we would have a very nice sinusoidal wave shape. Let's now also test this one on my little simulator. You see here still we have the controller and the controller has these two signals, the two signal generators as input. On one side you have the sinus and then you have the triangle. And uh, let's run it then you see that the output current now is not rectangular anymore. It's a very nice and smooth uh, sinusoidal curve and the total voltage at the load is then this PCM voltage and uh, the PCM is due to the fact that we make a different um, we, we make a difference between the sinus input voltage which you can see here the sinus voltage and this uh, triangular shaped voltage. I chose 5000 Hertz for this uh, demonstration so that the whole thing is smooth. In reality you would not go to 5000 Hertz only, you could, could go well above 20,000 Hertz and then you have a very very smooth uh, output signal. Try the demonstration on the simulator yourself, it's public. You can find it under uh, ecsp.ch it's a Swiss made program and uh, optimal is if you put a simulation time of 20 milliseconds and 10,000 steps then you get a relatively smooth, smooth output as I have just demonstrated to you.